Hello everyone and welcome back to Command and Conquer Red Alert and welcome back to Southern Poland. Commander, I wish I could say I had good news, but not all of our battles fared as well as yours. The Greek front is collapsing and Germany is all but taken. However, not all is lost. Your efforts have hampered Soviet progress in this area. The bridges you destroyed have caused the Soviets to redirect their forces through a certain mountain pass that I believe you are familiar with. They are gambling that you will not be able to stop them a second time. Prove them wrong. Stavros. Expect a heavy concentration of Soviet armor. The base you established is still standing. Get it up to speed as quickly as possible. We're counting on you to keep the Reds from breaking through. Okay, here we are. Let's just speed up the game a little bit. Yeah, this map should look familiar, and that's because it's actually the map from the second Allied mission. And that's also the reason why I built all those ore refineries, because now we can exploit that. Yeah, it's a little bit cheap, but yeah, it's alright. And we get attacked by planes. Yeah, those are Yak planes. Fortunately, they're really weak. They're a little bit stronger when the enemy has them for some reason, but they're not much of an issue in general. So that's a lot of infantry. So let's build a Kamu pillbox, which is one of the best defense against infantry. It's really strong, so let's keep our refineries intact and construct maybe two turrets here, just in case. Complete. And now let's get a uh, war factory yes, so we can Medic reporting. Medic reporting. Moving out. get some tanks going. So, da, 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 da. Yeah, this base will always look yes, exactly sir. like it did when you um, when you left it in mission two. You also get a mine layer. So let's say some enter tank mines here. Yeah, both sides have mines. So it's have anti-personnel mines, which are weaker, and we have the better anti-tank mines. So it's just position our infantry here. So they should be able to easily blow up whatever comes from that direction. So yeah, as you can see, Kamu pillbox, they just shred infantry. I'm going to build a second war factory so I can build tanks a little faster. I do have the money anyway, so I might as well do it. So... And the tank I can build is the Allied Light Tank. Costs $700 and to be honest it's pretty weak. It's kind of like the Not Light Tank. Actually it's just a Not, not Light Tank. But it costs a little more and the Soviets have a heavy tank which costs... Oops. Oops. Airdrops but not with me. The Soviets have a heavy tank which costs only $100 more it has way more armor, it has two barrels. So it's not it's not like the GDI medium tank. That thing is way better than the GDI medium tank. So to be honest, it's a bit ridiculous. That's the reason why I need to spam. I need, need at least 50% more light tanks than the Soviets have heavy tanks. I think I'm just going to build tanks uh, until I'm run out of money because really, what's, oh. Nope, no, 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 that's not going to happen. See, that's the Soviet heavy tank. And squished. So you repair yourself. Yeah, we've got the service depot, which which repairs units as in the first command conquer. But luckily, you can send a group of units on it and they will just take turns being repaired, which is way more convenient than having to do it one by one. So let's just build another turret here. 
squished. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Affirmative. So you two repair. Yes, sir. Yourself. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Awaiting order. Affirmative. Just build a turret here just in case. And spam more light tanks. So when I order these guys here to repair themselves, this guy here is going to get repaired. Construction complete. Then he's going to leave, and then the other guy is going to get repaired. So you can actually conveniently repair a group of tanks, which is very good. So you come over here. You can also build rangers, which are kind of like buggies or or Humvees. They are right against infantry, but they cost 600, where the light tank costs 700. So they are way overpriced. They should cost 400 or so, really. They're good for exploration, though. So let's just spam more light tanks. I'm going to need a lot of light tanks because when I strike against the enemy base, I want to be able to take out their construction yard or all their units, or better both, because they will never be able to build, rebuild their construction yard. Yeah, the AI builds a little bit fairer on this mission. They can only build buildings where you actually permit to build buildings. They can't just respawn all their buildings. Oop, it's not good, so let's get my rangers in. Come on. Yep, here we go. Let's spam a couple more light tanks. I'm pretty much going to use all the money I have, because I might as well do it. Oop. Yeah, you can stay there. Okay, yes, you, you guys return home and you you move out. So yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. So let's see what I can find. Soviet base, which should be somewhere here. Oh, yeah, it's heavy Soviet heavy armor. So you repair yourself. Yeah, so you, I think you pretty much need at least two light tanks to take out a heavy tank. If you're even able to do it. If you're unlucky, that doesn't even work. So, and they're also really fast. My light tanks aren't even noticeably faster than those heavy tanks. They aren't even medium tanks, they're only, they're only these tanks. And so let's just quickly dispose of this. Let's take out all the tanks. Take out, move over here and press for the barracks and let's try and take out their construction yard, which I hopefully will be able to do, yes. Let's destroy the arms factory and the barracks and retreat. So now they're crippled because they can't, can't rebuild anything they lost. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Soviets. I'm just going to repair my tanks, regroup and then finish them off. So these guys should prepare yes, themselves. So there's still flame lost. turrets, so I don't really want to. Lost. Yeah, the Gloucester guy doesn't really matter. So I really don't want to just waltz in there with all my infantry. I should build more light tanks. So these guys should get repaired soon. Okay, so do me a favor and repair yourself. See, they take turns, or they get repaired after one after another. So I don't have to micromanage them on this repair bay here. So. And my entire infantry is healed. So... Unit ready. And why didn't you repair yourself? I don't know, but doesn't really matter. So Unit ready. Unit repaired. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Let's just Reporting knowledge. Take all of these guys here. Building. And let's kill this poor pull that here. Yep, one shot and he's dead. So yeah, when you attack a base, obviously you always want to do permanent damage, and that means destroy the construction yard first, so I can't rebuild anything and then destroy everything else. And if they have two construction yards, they cannot rebuild one construction yard with another construction yard that only works in Quan Conquer 1 here. The AI is a little bit less cheap, 
um, can't actually do that. So. So let's take out the base defenses. And yeah, when I take down the refinery, they're probably going to sell everything. Yeah, that's what, what the AI does. When when the situation is hopeless, they sell everything and do a last rush against you. Mission accomplished. There we go. Yeah, that really wasn't too bad. Later on, the missions will be a little bit more balanced when you have the allied medium tank, because you really don't want to build light tanks. The medium tank is only slightly more expensive than the heavy tank, which I think the medium tank costs 800, while the heavy tank costs 900. So it evens out a little bit, but it only has one cannon, so yeah, you're still going to be at a disadvantage. But then again, um, the computer's a cheating bastard anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.